I heard a little story that um, one of your tracks, Long Way From Home, um, you did a bit of um, work with Francis Rossi on a charity album. Yeah, it, it, well, it's kind of right. I, Francis didn't work with me on, on that particular track. The, it was used on a charity album, but that was slightly separate. Um, I have worked with Francis um, in the studio on, on a few of my songs over the years, so um, certainly that's true, but it wasn't it wasn't on the the charity album yeah. as such but i mean it it's fantastic when you you know when you get to meet somebody who's already in the industry and, and somebody who's who's been there for so long because you learn so much from them and and essentially all all i'm doing is is playing my songs to Francis and i'm lucky that he's someone i know and i've got so much you know feedback from him and i've really been able to develop my my style from him but it, it has been really exciting working with him on on a few songs that I've done, it's it's been you know quite quite an inspiration, really. I tried interviewing him um, earlier on this year, and he's a complete nutcase, <laughs> but a lovely guy with it. Oh God, he <laughs> he is. The thing with Francis, he can talk for England. He can talk for the world. Actually, trying to get a word in edgeways is quite difficult. He's he's always got a story to tell, and he's he's quite hilarious. He's he's a really funny guy, but he's he's really really sound, very intuitive, and he's a fantastic musician. I don't think people always realise what what he can do on the guitar. He's quite a virtuoso. Uh, but, he's yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, excellent. Now, you, you've got, um, I, I think, an EP out at the moment. I was going to ask, is there any, any news on an album coming out? Well, I think next year that's what I would be aiming for um, because I, I am writing a lot. I've got a lot of new songs which I do want to record, so... I think at some point there, there's certainly room for that. Um, I mean, it's doing an EP, I think, is, is easier because you can just focus on three to five songs. And I think when you're promoting yourself, you know, people aren't necessarily going to want to listen to a whole album's worth. So you, you just want to get your, your top songs out there and, mm. and see you know, see where they go, get, get some feedback, um, and then take it to the next step. But, but certainly 2011 is, is the year that I'm really focusing towards more gigs and more recording time. So there, there'll definitely be uh, some new music coming out next year. Right, well, you've got to promise to, to send us the album because um, Pete, who's had you as his... Absolutely. Uh, Pete, who's had you as his Artist of the Week, um, is is absolutely in love with, with the sound you create and with the music you create. And we've all been... Oh, uh, sort of, you. Wow, you know, that's really good. Um, which is lovely. It's great to get something new and fresh, but is still quite acceptable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think the songs are are commercial. I think they're they're easy to listen to. But yeah, I, I do. I think it's a new sound, and I think because I've got such a, a big element from country music, which I think, as I said earlier, is is missing a lot from what you hear in the UK. Um, I, th- I think it it is a new sound, and you know, I, I really want people to to listen and obviously to enjoy. And it, it's really it's really lovely to hear such such positive feedback from That's from great. you guys. No, we we love it. We love new music, but um, we love music that you can actually play on radio and not uh, offend too many people. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh, well, Charlie, thank you so much for sparing us the time. Um, all the best no with touring. All the best with recording. Thank you very much. And we're going to look That's forward great. to that album. Thank absolutely. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lee. Okay, thank you.